Hello, everyone. Good to have you. This is the last day of the Fast of Daniel, day 21. And it's been such a great way to end the year by doing a Fast of Daniel. What better way to end a year and begin a year by focusing on God, focusing on the Word of God, abstaining, detoxing, purging ourselves from the world. This is the verse I'm going to read for you today. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1, 11, verse 1 and 2. It says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old receive their commendation. So God praised the people of old. They were accepted by God. They were praised by God because of their faith. Uh, Abraham, Sarah, Moses, uh, David, uh, Rahab, Esther, they were commended, they were, they pleased God because of their faith. It was faith in God. And as we're going to see, faith caused them to be faithful to God. There are different kinds of faith. There's a faith to believe in miracles, blessings, uh, victories, but there's also the faith to stay faithful to God, to never give up, causes us to be saved. There's a faith that saves us, that stays faithful to God, that trusts in God. So faith is crucial. And then it continues in verses 33 and 34. It says, Who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. And they developed character, they stayed faithful, they were humble. All these things that love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, those came as a result of faith. If you have the fruit of the Spirit, it's because you have faith in God. You have faith in the Holy Spirit. If you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's because you had faith to receive it. You would not be baptized in the Holy Spirit unless you had faith to receive Him and to continue to walk in Him and to follow Him and trust in Him. So faith is crucial. Don't make the mistake of thinking that faith is just something that causes a person's heart to be healed or to be freed from an addiction. By faith, we receive the Holy Spirit. By faith, we're saved in God. So it's our faith. Our faith is what causes God to be God in our own experience. I mean, God exists whether we believe in him or not, whether we have faith in him or not. God exists. God is who he is. He's powerful. He's mighty. He is God. But when we have faith, it causes God to be God in our life, in our experience. So you want God to be God. You have to have faith. You have to believe in what you don't see. You have to determine that the promises of God are real. They're going to come true in your life. And that's it. Period. End of argument. That's it. They're going to come true. So if you want God to be God in your life, you have to say no to feelings and emotions a lot of the time. Sometimes our, our emotions are good, but a lot of times they're bad. They're wrong. They're leading us down the wrong path. Faith doesn't follow the culture of the world. Faith follows God, God's promises, not the world, not the ways of the world. Faith leads us to be foolish in the eyes of the world. And the Holy Spirit does that too. When we have the Holy Spirit, we're foolish in the eyes of the world. We have joy when, you know, the world looks at us and wonders, why do you have that joy? So faith is what causes God to be God in our own experience. Without faith, we can talk about God, but we're not going to experience him. Faith is the way you get your own victory. Like it says in this passages that they obtained promises, that they conquered kingdoms, they did all these different things. You want victory, you want the Holy Spirit, you want this peace and joy, you want your feet to be solid on the rock. So 
victory is the faith is the way you're going to have that victory. It's waiting for you. That victory of faith is waiting for you to grab a hold of it, to to walk in it. The Bible says there's a verse that says that God is is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or imagine. God is able. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or imagine. But he only works with through faith. So God is able to do far beyond anything we can imagine, but only if we have faith in him. God promises the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised to send the counselor, but that only applies to people who have faith in God who decide that the word of God is true. It's going to come true in in your life. So real faith is active and determined. It doesn't sit around waiting for God to, to do something. Faith is active and it's determined. It's active in the sense that it does things. It moves. It's not just sitting around waiting. God doesn't do magic. Faith is not magic. Faith is hard sometimes, most of the time. It's hard. It's tough. It, we're going against ourselves. We're going against what's natural for us. And we're, we're acting like a, a, a heavenly, godly, spiritual person. So faith has to be active and determined. If it's not, it's not real faith. There's some people who delude themselves and say that they have faith in God, but they don't because they're not active. They're, they're waiting around. They're, they're even blaming God for their situation. So faith is active and determined. It doesn't sit around for God to do something. It does what it can. When you have faith, you do what you can, what you're able to do, what you have wisdom to do right now. And you continue to do that until God gives you the victory and answers your prayers. And as in that process, God will give you wisdom. God will show you to do things better. And when you have faith, you're open to that. You're, you're, you're ready to hear God's voice and to follow his leading. So we need to do what we can uh, with the wisdom that we have, the strength that we have right now, trusting in God, moving forward, believing in his promises. And as we do this, and as we continue to do that, we're going to experience the Holy Spirit working in us, giving us supernatural wisdom, supernatural strength, supernatural fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. We're going to have those in a godly, supernatural, heavenly way. Uh, the, the fruit of the Spirit is, is heaven on earth. It's a piece of heaven on earth. It's, it's God's nature living inside of us. It's God's DNA. So, but we're going to have the fruit when we value it, when we are happy with it, when we desire it. If the most important thing in your life is clothes or your reputation or your job or your money, you're not going to receive the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit has to be number one. God has to be number one in your life. If God is not number one, your salvation has to be questioned. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. The, the pearl of great price, salvation, is that it, a person has to give everything they have to receive it. That's why we talk about the altar. That's why we talk about sacrifice. That's what real faith is all about. Faith is active and determined, and it, it, it moves forward with the wisdom that it has at that moment. It refuses to see difficulties, and it rejects all discouragement. Real faith. It doesn't accept to be discouraged. It doesn't see the difficulties. It doesn't focus on the difficulties. It, we see the difficulties, but we refuse to be impressed by them. We refuse to be blocked or held back or feel weakened by them. We just move forward knowing that it's difficult, 
And it seems impossible, but we're trusting that God is with us and that God is going to honor us. You know, our, when, when we have faith, we are deaf and blind. We're deaf to, our, our ears are deaf, our eyes are blind to the circumstances, any circumstances, any words that would hold us back and cause us to doubt God. So if you want the fruit of the Holy Spirit, if you want the Holy Spirit himself to live inside of you, if you want to manifest these fruits that we've been talking about, it begins with faith. Like I said in the beginning, our faith causes God to be God in our experience. So God is God. But in our own experience, you, faith makes God God for you. God is God whether you believe in him or not. He is powerful whether you acknowledge it or not or see it in your life. But when you have faith, that's when it begins to be real. And faith obeys. If, if God speaks to you, you obey. That's what faith is. You fight against discouragement. You fight against depression. You certainly fight against any suicidal thoughts. You don't accept suicidal thoughts. That No, because it doesn't matter what you're going through. You, you believe that God is with you. And if God is allowing you to go through something, it's because you can do it. And there's something in that for you to learn. When we have faith in God, we don't live for ourselves, for the flesh. We're living for God because our faith is in God. So this idea that faith is just believing that you can be healed, believing that you can get a job. God is not Santa Claus just to give you this, that, or the other. You know, your tithing, your church attendance, coming on Sundays isn't a ticket to prosperity. The most important thing in life is salvation. The most important thing is being baptized in the Holy Spirit because if you're not baptized in the Holy Spirit, it's very doubtful that you're going to make it to the end of your life and be saved because so many things are going to happen. So many things are going to come to, you know, to knock you down, to discourage you. And we need the Holy Spirit to keep ourselves balanced, to keep the perspective, the right perspective in life. So, Let's have this faith as we begin this year. God bless all of you who've done the fast of Daniel, who've grown, who've developed, who those of you who are uh, allowing the Holy Spirit to, to create these fruits, the, the, the fruit, these attributes of the fruit in your life. And if you've been baptized in the Holy Spirit during this fast of Daniel, great. If not, keep on going. Keep on pushing because... You're going to be baptized soon. Just stay faithful to him. Let's make a prayer right now. All right. My God, I thank you for this fast of Daniel. What a blessing it's been. What an encouragement. We have learned. We have grown in our faith. We've been challenged to stay strong during this fast. And right now, we, tonight at midnight, we surrender this fast to you. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, all the, the learning, the revelations, the changes that came into our life through this fast. And we're going to continue to have this spirit to trust in you. My Lord, we thank you for 2022, and we look forward to 2023. And we're determined that 2023 is going to be the best year of our life so far because of you, through your power, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there are anyone with questions about the Holy Spirit, uh, about their own spiritual life, Holy Spirit, speak to them right now. Talk to them. Reveal the truth. Help those who are fighting emotions and discouragement. Lift them up, Lord, and May everyone who's been listening to these videos truly be baptized in the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
All right. God bless all of you. We'll see you in church or uh, in these videos. Uh, we're going to we'll explain more about this, but every every Monday morning, every Thursday morning, every Friday morning, we're going to be posting a video. We'll let you know more about that later. All right. God bless. Bye bye. Thank you.